In this code.org lesson, we're going to focus on the order that code runs, the sequence of it. Let's get going. This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. All right. Help scrap run across the slippery. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're just going forward. We can do that. I'm just going to droop and droop. How many times? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to attach all of my blocks to the win run block. One, two, three, four, five. There we are. Now there's probably a faster way to do this, but let's see. This should work just fine. Boom, 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 and boom. Now if you want to get fancy, let me reset. This works as well. Boom. And it's shorter. It's more efficient. And we really should think about that. Everything in this pink mouth thing will now run five times. So we move it forward, hit the bottom, zoop, five times in a row. Less code, same result. Awesome. Onward. All right, we have one block on our board. We can use up to nine. Use turn left block to get the acorn. Ah, so I'm going to just throw some code down here and see if it works. You should try the same. So I wasn't super sure what to use. I'm just testing stuff out. You should always do this. You can be wrong with code. It's okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I can also use step to watch my code run. See, move forward. And that way I catch errors much more quickly than leaving them there and not finding them till the end. Or having a ton of code that I have to kind of search through for an error. Let's see. So I've got to go forward a bunch and then left. Let's try. Boom. Now this totally works. It's completely right. But once again, let's take a look. I have nine blocks here, but I'm repeating myself. One, two, three, four, five. So a better way to do that is to use a repeat block. What I had was technically correct, but this is more efficient. So what this will do now, everything in this pink mouth loop thing block will run five times, I'm asking it. So it will move forward, back to the top, move forward, three more times, move forward, two more times, move forward, one more time, move forward. Now it's done. Once it's done all the numbers of times, it just falls beneath and goes turn left, forward, forward. Awesome. Onward. Video. Let's keep going. All right. Can you get to the acorn with just one move forward? I bet we can. Ooh, okay. So now we have one move forward we're allowed to use. I'm going to start how I often do. I'm going to guess and throw down code. I'm going to use too many blocks, right? I already have two, but I'm not sure. And it is okay to do this, to test stuff out. So look at all these. I'm going to actually use step this time. Boom. Okay. One step two steps, and I can watch it run. Three steps, four steps, this helps me. Okay, so we're gonna get there. If I hit step five, we get the acorn. But I have too many blocks, so I won't get like full credit, it only goes half green. So, instead of doing it this way, zoop, one, two, three, four, five, zoop, boom. This is the same thing, except everything in this pink mouth thing will now run five times in a row, just like we've been using it. Three blocks. Awesome. Onward. Add one more block to get scrap all the way to the acorn. Ooh, five out of six. Oh, so what's happening here? We already have a loop. So this first loop, let's watch it run. I'm going to hit step and oh, it's annoyed because there's nothing down here. I'm going to detach that just to show you what's going on so far. Step. So I'll move forward. It hits the bottom of our pink block and it's going to go back to the top because we have to do this four times. We've only done it once. Second time, zoop, move forward. And it will stay highlighted because we're going to go forward a third time. It stays highlighted because zoop a fourth time. And now it's just going to drop beneath and run turn right because we've done this four times. Turns right. Okay, so what would we need to do next? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four steps. Wait a minute. Boom. And I can have this right here because, again, I can do four move forwards, turn right, and then move forwards. Only the stuff in these pink areas will get repeated. So this gets repeated four times. I turn right once, and then I should move forward four times. Let's check. Victory onward. Can you add a loop to get to the acorn? Ooh, so now we have. Let's see what it does so far. We should always check. Oh, okay. So we have a repeat four, and then I turn right once. Then I repeat four, then I turn right once. Now, what am I repeating? Well, four times in a row, I move forward, because that's what's in this pink mouth thing. So move forward once, move forward twice, three times, four times. Once it gets to four, right, because this says do this four times, it falls beneath the pink block, and I turn right once. Plop. 
Then I hit this again, and it says, oh, okay, four times. Forward once, plop. Hits the bottom of this pink block, zoop, back to the top. Forward twice, hits the bottom of this pink block again, zoop, back to the top. Forward three times, plop. Hits the bottom, zoop, forward four times. And here I am. So now what do I need to do? Well, I turn right, right? So we move forward four times, and now it falls done beneath because it's done. Turn right, now what? I bet if I'm here, oops, what do I got to do? But I need to move forward four more times. Victory. Onward. Ooh, Scrap really wants that acorn. So I have one block and I can use nine up to three move forward. So let's try it. Because we've been using repeat. Let's see if I can go forward four times. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to try to turn right. And just to test this, I'll move a move forward. I'll throw a move forward here. So step. Now what should happen? Yep, this should be yellow. Now I need to repeat this four times, everything in this pink mouth. So once I hit step again, it hits the bottom of my pink loop, goes back to the top and says right three more times and moves forward. Zoop, and so that stays highlighted. And then again, hits the bottom two more times, hits the, the bottom, zoop, back to the top, and I should move forward one more time. Perfect. Now it's done with all four. It's going to fall beneath, just like I've been saying, and we should turn right once now because this isn't in a pink block. Boom. Now I have moved forward out of a pink block. We'll step. But what do I need? Well, I need to go forward four times here. So let's do what we have been. Boom. Now, I only, after I go forward four times, I'd be here. What do I need to do? Well, I need to turn right. Boop. I hope you're yelling at me, though, because we don't want to turn right every time we move forward. We don't want to turn right in this pink loop. That would mean every time we go forward, we have to turn right. No, we only want to turn right after we move forward four times. That gets us here. Finally, what are we going to do once we turn right? Hmm, looks like four more times. If this isn't clicking, definitely go back and watch the tutorial for last level as well. This stuff is tricky, but super useful. Victory! Onward. Uh-oh, can we fix it? I don't know, let's see. Ooh, uh-oh. Goodbye! Okay, so what's going on here? Well... Everything in the pink loop gets repeated. So I know we'd move forward three times. Let me step through this to check. Move forward once, twice, zoop, one more time, three times. So now I'm done, right? We've done this stuff in the pink mouth, pink box, pink loop thing three times. And so now it should fall beneath and I should turn left. Awesome. Okay, now what? Well, I only have to turn left once. It's not in a pink box, right? It's outside of them. So what happens after I turn left? Zoop. Oh, I tell, ask the computer to do this three times. Okay, do what three times? I should move forward once. Hits the bottom of our pink loop. Zoop. I should move forward again. Yep. Hits the bottom one more time to hit three. Yep. Now I've done this three times. So now I'm going to fall beneath and turn left. What? Oh, now what am I about to do? Now I'm about to go forward four times. That doesn't work. So if it's not three... Four. Let's try five here. And let's see. Four. One, two, three, four. That looks good. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Champions onward. The acorn is so far away. Can you use loops to help? Yep. Okay. So I have one block I can use up to 12. I'm just going to throw code down. It says we can only use move forwards. I think you should do the same. Just start putting code down to test it. So I'll put a bunch of stuff down and then talk about it. So this gets us there, but we have way, way too much code. But you should try to do this often, right? It helps me be able to see what's going on without being too tricky, especially with loops. It gets confusing. So right now I have 20 blocks and I can only use 12. Let's look for repeated code. I hope you're already yelling at me because obviously... Saying forward one, two, five times in a row is ridiculous. Joop and joop. Let's be lazy. Bam. That will do the same thing. Okay. And then what else? Oh, wait a minute. What do we do again? One, two, three, forward five times in a row. We don't need to do that. Joop and joop. Goodbye. This will do that automatically. All right. Well, oh, wait. Forward three times in a row. Nope. We don't need to do that either. We can do it this way. Let me change that to three. And it kind of gives us a hint by only giving us four move forward blocks. Well, look, one, two, three, four sides. Forward three times in a row. We'll wait. First turn right and then forward three times. Boom. 
So it's just different lengths of sides, but similar to what we were just doing, in that we loop through a certain number of times move forward. Afterwards, we turn once, which is why it's not in the pink block, because only the code in the pink block repeats. Once it completes these five move forwards, we drop beneath this, turn right once, it's not in pink. Then we go ahead and zoop, we turn right here, right? So then we move forward five more times, end up here. Once we've done move forward five times, we fall beneath and turn right, zoop, so on. Champion. Ooh, challenge. We are completely ready. All right, so we can use up to 15 blocks. Here's our acorn. I'm going to do what I often do. I'm going to throw down way too much code. It says I'm going to use seven. I'm going to use like 20 because I just want to see what the code does. So you give this a shot too. I'm going to throw down a bunch of stuff and then talk about it. And I'm already at 15 blocks, but I'm just testing. Whoop. And that's why we test. Wow, and we're still not there. So we're getting closer, but it looks like this would be another five. Obviously, I have way too much code here, but it's a really great way to find our loop. So I have 24 out of 15. Well, first off, move forward five times in a row. Nah, we can use this, right? Instead, let's put it in this pink block. Let's have our repeat be five times. And now that will automatically go move forward five times. Once it's done with this move forward five times, it drops below and will turn right once. So it's identical. Now we have move forward twice. We could use a loop there. Um, we also have move forward one, two, three, four, five again. So again, move forward five times. Doing this is absolutely identical. Putting a five in this repeat, putting move forward, completely the same thing. There we are. Now what? Turn left, move forward twice, okay, and then move forward five more times. Boop. Boop. Looks good. If you really wanted to, it's going to count for the same amount of blocks, at least it should. You could also do move forwards here, right, like that. But it won't make a difference because it's the same amount of blocks. Two move forwards or a repeat. Boom. Let's give this a shot. Victory. That one is tricky. Onward. We got one block. We can use up to 12. Scrat needs this acorn. We can use six move forwards. I'm going to start with what I often do, throwing down too much code and testing it. You try that too. I can already tell I'm over on code, but again, just testing. Let's see. Whoops. Well, I killed the scrat. Okay, boom. But it looks like four here. So let me actually, before I even continue, I don't need four in a row. We know. Boom, boom. Let's try that. And then I bet this will be 4, 2 down here, so I can already do. We know if I use a repeat, it will do it for us four times. Once I'm here, though, would I want to go left? Let's try this. And maybe a move forward and a move forward. So four times in a row, we'll go forward. Once we're done going four times, we fall beneath. Turn right, move forward once, twice. Turn right once, right? Because everything not in pink happens once. We move forward once, we move forward again. Because they're following each other, not because they're in pink. Then we'll turn right. Then four times in a row. One, two, three, four. Once we're done with this, four times, we hit this. We should turn left once. It's not in the pink. Zoop. And then move forward twice. Champions! Onward. Ooh, get to the acorn any way we can, and we have infinity blocks. Well, with how much we've been looping, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to use the loops because it seems easy now. So I should go up five, and then since I only want to turn right once, I'll put that here. Let me test these. Oh, didn't even think. If I wanted to go up first, this is fine, though. Let's just have B turn left. Whoops. Great. Now I need to move one, two, three, four, five forward. Boom. Six blocks. There could even be a faster one. Yeah. So that works. I want to show you even a faster way. N let's say at the very end right here we turn left. Would it matter if I wanted to turn left one more time? It wouldn't. So what I had was correct and it works. But it wouldn't, right? Well, wait a minute. These are now identical. Don't repeat yourself in code. So if we wanted to get real fancy, this is called a nested loop. I'll ask it to run everything in this pink mouthing twice. 
So it's a repeat block with a repeat block inside of it. Two times over, we'll move forward. First, we move forward five times, get to here. We'll turn left once. We hit the bottom of this, shoop, back to the top. Oh, yeah, one more time. So then we'd move forward five times. Once we're done with that, get to the bottom. We turn left, but we already completed. Either way is correct. Let's keep going.